So this is the bike you've been watching at the night. There are about nine different LEDs on this bike. Two headlights on the front. There are about four strip lights, super thin and small, on the wheel. There are two green lights under the water bottle, a back light under the seat. I just assemble all components as hidden as possible. As you can see, you cannot see any wires wrapping on the frame or you cannot see anything on the cycle. It's a definitely a hidden hidden setup. So now I'm just turning on every single light one by one. If I turn off the studio lights, this is the green lights. And there's water bottle and water is so bright. And now this is the wheel lights. And then this is the back lights. As you can see, the back lights is super bright. If I turn on the headlights, as you can see, I, I just uh, filming with that headlight. It's super bright. I can see forward to this light. It's super powerful. The last effect that the back lights can blink itself. I just uh, connect a circuit on that. If I turn on the switch mode and the other mode, you can see the backlight is blinking right now. And if I turn off, you can see the black light is blinking. So this thing is super bright and so beautiful, right? So see if I turn off everything, so the headlights I can flame with that things is very bright. So let's jump into the video. These are some materials down here for building this project. These are auto-fading RGB light for wheel. The lights are super thin and flexible for fit anywhere else. That's why I chose this for the wheel. For the front headlight, I just choose super bright, high-powered 2 LED. Or you can use this kind of LED but I will be use the brighter one. 2 green lights for the water bottle. It's also super bright. For the back light, this is the most brighter red LED which will be attached under the seat. Some black switches a jack for the battery connection, some glues, black wires and triple color wires. For the power section you can use AA lithium ion rechargeable battery but I will be use my old laptop battery which have about 11 volts output and 5 ampere current power supply. Some empty thread tape holder, a piece of steel sheet. You need more components I will be show you in the video. The video will be longer but you will learn how to set up lights on your bicycle in very easiest way. I promise you can make it on your own. Just you need to follow my step so let's get to it. Making the wheel light is the most difficult part of this project because the wheel is spinning all the time. So now I'm going to attach two of this RGB light on the surface of this wheel in this area, something like that. And another one right over this side here, something like that. So let's join it. I just simply remove the protection layer and join it to the upper surface area on the wheel and glue it down for better join. As you can see, the light is super thin and small. For that, it is hard to realize there is a light on the wheel. I just uh, joined the RGB light here and another one right over this side here. Every single light has two-way power connection. Red is positive and black is ground line. So I'm going to make my whole cycle's body ground line. How do I make that? To find out the contact area, I'm just simply take with my, my multimeter I move it to the continuity mode and I take it to show you the cycle's body is conductive. Just you need to find out the best conductive area. So I am connecting the negative line to the conductive area in here and solder it for better join. I check back again with battery for testing everything is ok. One problem is gone, now the second problem, the main problem. The positive line it should be connected to the battery and that's why i'm going to make a receiver on the surface of this disc with uh, with empty thread tape holder it should be joined in here something like that but it should be done in between one centimeter from the body and the disc this is about two centimeter i have to cut it through uh, to the middle in here with this hacksaw so let's cut it through After you cut that, you need to make some hole with measurements by disc. So need to open first.
Now I'm working for make a perfect hole, for that I'm using my soldering iron and make hole in every single point. Then I remove extracts for refine age. I'm also use sandpaper for that. It seems perfect for me. So let's join it on the surface of disc and make it tight by screws. Then I'm cutting a piece of steel sheet about 2 cm wide and remove the paint or polish it one of the sides by sandpaper for conductive the area. It looks something like that. Make a cut and keep some point for joining the wire. Bending the joining point about 90 degree angle and make a loop by measurement with the thread tape holder, then it should be something like this. Joining wire in both sides to the joining point and attach it on the holder, glue it, then a proper solder. Now I'm going to join the wire to the light's positive line and tape it for safety and also a better join. As you can see, I just connect the wire on the steel loop and it goes through like wrapping on the wheel rod and it connects to the light's positive line. It's time to put back the wheel on frame and check for any problem. Perfect. I'm also checking everything is work or not, but the screws have connected to negative line, need to be covered. For that I'm taping to cover the screws and it also secured the wire. Now everything is perfect. To supply positive line to the wheel need to make a supplier on the frame so that it can attach to visible surface. Because of that you need a piece of wood. I cut it about 1 inch and making it shape so that it can fit easily to the frame. As you can see I simply cut this thing something like this and I also cut a valve 45 degree angle to make a sense in a while. Now you need a mosquito coil stand, then I make a cut and shape it something like this and I insert it to the piece of wood, it fits so well. It looks so weird but it is the main thing to supply the positive line. I can easily remove it and make it change if needed. Now I take a wire and join it to the coil stand and insert it to the wood by pushing some pressure and glue it on the frame and cover it with a tape for looks better and insert it back nice it's perfect so i connected the positive line to the wheel and i grounded the whole cycle's body if you see close to this area i just made a positive power supplier and it attached to the power receiver surface and now I'm going to testing with the battery. I just connect the positive line to the positive power supplier and the negative line can be anywhere else in this body. If I attach in here, you can see the light is lighting up in here, anywhere else. Just you need to just you need to find out the best conductive area. So now I'm going to testing the wheel how it's performing. If I turn off the studio light, you can see how bright the RGB. So this thing is very beautiful. I also made the same thing for the front wheel. If you see the front wheel, I just attached two of the RGB in here and another one right opposite side up here. But I didn't make the receiver on the disc because there is not any space between the disc and the body. So I had to make this thing right up on this side in here as you can see there is about two centimeter space in front well for making a power receiver i simply make this in the same way and cover it with black tape for look natural and i take the wire to the handlebar as hidden as possible by adding glue because of that you can see i also take the wire on the brake wire surface it looks natural and also neat and clean no way to understand there is a wire going if anybody looks first time without a deep search i'm also take the wire from back positive supplier under the cycles frame surface and it goes to the handlebar so now i'm going to make the back red led light 
which will be blinking and then the white light from the for the front and the green light under the water bottle and water bottle will be light up before that i need to make two circuits a voltage off circuit and the led blink circuit for the each led light without the wheel light it's have a maximum power limit between one volt to six volt but my laptop battery have 11 volts output for the voltage drop i choose the voltage step down back converter and for the blinking LED, you need some electronic components, a 470 microfarad 25 volt capacitor, a BC547 transistor, a 1 kilo or 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now I am connecting capacitor positive line to transistor right pin and connect the resistor on the positive line. You can see I connect the positive line to the resistor and its output line is transistor left pin and it goes to the light's positive line and negative line connected to capacitor's negative and also light's negative and LED is blinking and so I reduce the voltage level to buck converter about 3 volt approx. As you can see I assemble the all light down here without the wheel light the positive and negative wire from battery goes to the back converter and also blinking circuit. Then it goes to the switch and then to the light. Just you need to connect this line in the same way to the cycle. I am connecting the three core wire to the back converter. You probably can see I just joined the red and silver wire as output and I connect the white wire to input positive line so its voltage level will be as input level. So white wire supply 11 volt for back and wheel light, red wire 3 volt for front and water bottle lights. I insert the step down converter under the suspension hole because of waterproof and also hidden place. I tape outer layer for non-conductive to the body. I insert it back again by a little push. Then I take the input wire to the middle of the frame in the battery place. I solder input jack to the wire and also connect a secondary wire to the negative line, tape it for safety and connect the secondary negative line to the cycle's body so that a cycle's whole body will be negative line and also solder it for better join. And I take the output line from converter, it goes to the handlebar. It's time to attach the front light on brake at the front side and solder two wires on that. After that, I glue the red light under the back side of the seat and then solder the negative line to the body. I make a wire extend and reduce model from a damaged mouse and I connect a jack on the wire. It can connect in, the, in that wire. I glue the jack on the body and solder the wire to positive line. It looks something like this. I'm testing everything is nice and work. Now I attach the extend and reduce model to the frame with hot melt glue. As you can see I can easily extend the wire and I can easily unplug from the light. Then I can also easily plug the jack and reduce the wire if needed. Nice! I connect the positive wire from back light to blinking circuit and solder it proper, glue it on the frame and connect the negative line to the cycle's frame. I unscrew the bottle holder, then I join two green light under this holder and wire up as parallel join and join a secondary wire to the positive line. It goes to the switch on the handlebar. I screw back and tight it. You can see I attach a negative line to the screws for receive negative line from the body. Back lights and green lights wire goes to the handlebar and under the frame surface. I attach the switches on the handlebar and solder positive wire on the switch which come from wheel lights. I also attach two more switches on the left. So I almost finishing up and try to hide all elements as possible. As you can see here is the back positive power supplier and it goes to the wheel. Red back LED light and it goes to the blinking circuit and I can easily extend the wire and I can easily reduce the wire if needed. So 
This is the power input jack and there are two green lights under the bottle holder. All the wires go through under the frame surface and it also goes through the brake wire surface. Front wheel also also have the positive power supplier on there it also, it also goes through the brake wire surface. So need to be assembled all wires to the switch and the power supplier. So let's do it. I forget to mention about the voltage step down converter. I insert it under the suspension hole. I can easily pull it out and increase or decrease the output voltage level if needed. I assemble all wires under the handlebar for hiding the wires and also use black wires for looks natural so that the cycle's output looks will not be rude or bad looking. There are a lot of video on YouTube, they assemble the wire wrapping on the frame, it looks so rude and it just ruined the cycle's beautifulness and that's why I try to hide all components as much as I can. I just assemble all wires with which I already showed you. I'm just make a dedicated switch for green lights and also join one more green lights under the bottle holder. I cover the switches with black tape for hiding the wire and also sequence the switch and cut on the middle for press the switch. Now I'm making a battery connecting jack. Before that I'm explaining the output lines. There are 8 power lines output from this laptop battery. These two lines on the left output as positive line and these three lines on the right output as negative lines. So I'm going to use these two lines as power supply about 11 volts. For making a jack, I cut ice cream stick about 1 inch, cut a steel sheet and shape it like this. After that I make two holes on that stick and insert the steel shape. It can easily insert and fit so well. Then I join input jack and wires and solder it on the joining point and tape it with black tape. It looks something like this. Perfect. For holding the battery, I cut and make a holding belt from a scope bag. I just cut this tighter and also this ribbon and shoe it on the ribbon. I can easily make a loop and tie it. I attach the battery in this place and tie it well with that holding belt. As you can see, this thing is super tight and fit well. I can easily remove the battery for charging by untie the belt and easily I can connect the input jack. Brilliant! As I said, I hide all components like wires, slides, switch as much as I can. You just see the battery on the frame. So it's the definitely hidden setup. I also attach the white light on the brakes front side. And these are the switches. As you can see, I also made a dedicated switch for the green lights. So finally everything is done after a long video. So need to be go outside for the review. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up for that and share this video if you want and get subscribed for more video like this. I'm Rahat, you've been watching Logical Lace. See you later in the next video.